10 things I would share to someone who has many years until they are 43. One, eye cream. Start using eye cream all around your eye every night before you go to sleep. It doesn't have to be thick. It can be something thin as long as it is moisturizing. Number two, moisturizing your neck. Don't stop here. Always go all the way to the sides of your skin because that's what holds the rest of the skin together. So don't stop at the one little part that you want to moisturize. Think about the structure and what is holding that together and bring your cream all the way to the back of your neck. Number three, before you brush your teeth, always use lip balm. It has kept my lips from cracking and also uh, the toothpaste is a natural um, shrinking agent. So if you're about to go somewhere in the morning and you brush your teeth and the paste gets all over your teeth, it will depuff and shrink your lips as well too. Number four, dry brush every day. If you wanna have the smoothest toned skin that you possibly can, it's all about movement and circulation. So dry brush your skin and you will not be playing catch up years later. Number five, muscle tone, at least two times a week. This is something that you see time and time again when women are active and strength training a couple times a week. Their bodies are very different in their 40s and their 50s and their 60s and their 70s. Versus if you're somebody who just didn't think it was important in your earlier years and you're trying to play catch up. So hold on to that beautiful tone, even just a couple days a week of muscle um, squats and or lifts and or any type of strength training. Number six, embrace humor, please. Always find the funny sides of things. It affects the chemicals in our bodies. And I'm not saying laugh at people, learn to laugh at ourselves. There's always another way that we can digest something, right? And we're so worried about other chemicals out there, but we make chemicals in our bodies too. So let's make good ones. Number seven, quiet the noise. Learn to quiet the noise around you and even the noise in your head. It will make a huge difference in your ability to think clearly and be unbiased by temporary elevations of energy around you. Number eight, know the effects of your energy. It's not enough to say, I felt that way, I reacted that way. Our energy pollutes the environment around us or it helps raise it up. So know what you bring to the air in your space and the other people around you and be accountable for it. Number nine, learn to rest, not quit. It is so invigorating for our resilience to know when to rest and not quit. Number 10, never miss an opportunity to express kindness or gratitude. Kindness and gratitude rarely ever lead to a moment of regret.